As you can see, I'm here at Starfleet Academy and I'm looking for geocache. Um, this was a DNF for me before. Um, I've come back to try it again. Somewhere over there. I've got all DNF so far. I don't know what it is. Well, the one DNF is because I walked into a colony of probably, I don't know, dozens of spiders, those big yellow black spiders that they have here. Just dozens of them everywhere and I was freaking out so I'm not, I wasn't about to dig any further into that. So that's a DNF kind of a non-attempted. But all the others are legitimate DNFs. I cannot find them. Um, there are some there are some other geocaches up here on Boraxan. I came here specifically specifically because there is a mystery geocache here. And if I find that mystery geocache, I can get credit in the August promotional that's going on right now. And if I can find a traditional, I'll get credit for that too. So I'll have two categories covered in the promotional from geocaching.com. Let's keep going, see if I can find something. Ooh, look at that, a bird's house. All right, well this cache name is Lookout. Huh. Let me see. What could it be referring to? The hint is one step at a time. Hmm. <laughs> even, even without the hint, I would have known where to look. Sometimes, sometimes they are fun like that. The, 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 the name of the cache is like a, like a fun thing, you know. <sighs> well, they were friendly. I was friendly with them too, um, but not too friendly because I wanted them to go away. <laughs> This is the mystery cache site, and I have to um, I have to solve a problem and plug the result into the coordinates to find the actual location of the cache and the log sheet that I can sign. So this is very simple, but I'll I'll show you what it is just so you get get an idea. All right, according to the description, I have to take the number of small benches, which is two, plus the number of columns on the large structure, which seems to be four, which makes six. All right, so I gotta plug that number into one of the coordinates. Now, I have to take the number of steel T-bars one, two, three, plus the number of workout machines. And you can see here we have one, two, and three workout machines, so six. All right, the new coordinates brought me down here. Of course, this is a very busy trail. A lot of people, I'm being watched all the time, so I will try to be stealthy as I clamber through the woods. Okay, as I said, the, um, the, the new coordinates put me right, right there. That would be GZ right there. However, only about, what, three meters away in that little, that little hole was the geocache. So it's important always to remember the cache is not going to be probably not going to be exactly um, where the coordinates say uh, but it'll be pretty close and as the technology gets better and better it's gonna get um, closer and closer to accurate but you don't want it too accurate accurate or there's no fun 
All right, I I solved a mystery one. I have a little promotional sticker I can earn. Woohoo! And I found a traditional one too. So I got two things out of the six promotional categories. I have two. Good day. Those are Americans. What are they riding bikes on a hiking trail for? Uh, I suppose there's nothing wrong with it. It's a little dangerous though. Koreans don't pay attention to what's going on around them, so they might easily walk into a bicycle. There have been a lot of jets flying by from the United States Air Force Base nearby. And just in case you think that's only once in a while that that happens, it's about every, during the day, about every 10 to 20 minutes. they can put up with it. I, I guess they have to. Really, that's so irritating so often during the day. Okay, here's a funny story. I was just in the produce section and uh, I asked, uh, I asked the lady, I said, um, I'm, you know, gay meep. I'm looking for gay meep, which is um, perilla leaves. And uh, after I said that, I said, which means I didn't see them. And she thought I said, which means one box, which is a lot of gay meep. So, so she's, she just ran with that assumption and I just could not get her to understand. I just finally, I stopped her and I said, An, Basayo. Oh. <laughs> and then she finally caught on. <laughs> oh, life is an expat. What am I looking for? Nope. Oh yeah, maybe some of that. <laughs> 